Well, I'm very sorry that it has taken me this long. I actually was sitting at music lessons with my kids and uh, I took my iPad and my earbuds. And so I was going to do your, I was gonna help you with those two problems and I did. And then when I got ready to upload that this afternoon, I guess it was around, I don't know, 2.40 or 2.45, I realized there was no audio. For some strange reason, it didn't record any audio. So I didn't get to do it. So anyway, I am very sorry. I got home and then we went back to Sulphur Springs for something different and I just got in just a few minutes ago. So I'm so sorry about this. Okay, so I'm gonna help you with worksheet 9.3. Uh, you said you needed help on number five and number eight. So these are, uh, these are pretty simple. Uh, so it's not gonna take very much help, I think. And once I show you, you'll, you'll remember how to do it. So on number five, it's talking about commission. Sorry, my little ones are in the background. They're playing cops and robbers or something. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so um, commission is, I don't know if you know what it is, but if you're a salesperson for something and you sell a certain amount of things and you make X amount of money, well, then your commission is paid off of that. So, uh, you know, the more you sell, the more you make. Uh, several years ago, I was um, an independent sales rep for BJU Press, which is a homeschool curriculum company, and they paid me, I think it was 9%, and then they went up to 10% commission. So, you know, it's pretty good when you make several thousand dollars sales, and then, you know, they send you a commission check. So that's what this guy's doing. So he he made $12,000, That or that's not what he made, that's what he sold, $12,000 worth of cars I guess okay his commission is five percent well you can't multiply or you can't do anything with a percent so we need to change this to a decimal now remember to change to a decimal you divide by 100 because remember percent means 100 so to divide by that means that you are going to move you know because the decimals here it's just it's understood to be there so to get rid of this, you're gonna move the decimal twice, which is the same thing as multiplying, or um, pardon me, as dividing by 100. So you get 0 0.05, okay? That's what 5% is. So then basically you're gonna take how much he sold and you're gonna multiply it by his commission written at, oops, sorry, wrong thing, written as, if I can erase that, uh, his commission written as a decimal, okay? And remember, what you do is once you do all the calculations and such, when you get your final answer, you're going to go over twice, because see, this decimal is over twice. So then, to, uh, you know, to make it the same, you'll start over here and go one, two, decimal. And that would be your answer, okay, when you multiply. All right, so, and then the other one you said was number eight. Okay, so on number eight, it's talking about a proportion. And it says four out of five, okay? And then there were 569. Now, the reason I have it set up this way is because this is talking about the customers. This is total customers. This is how many want extended hours. So they've given you three numbers for a proportion. Remember a proportion are two ratios that are equivalent. Okay, so they've given you three numbers. They've given you how many customers. They've given you how many of those customers want extended hours, and then they've given you the exact number of total customers. That's why the 569 is on the bottom because it's total customers, it goes with this. So that means the number up here is the actual total of customers that want extended hours. So to figure that out, you're gonna have to figure out what do you multiply five by to equal 569? And whatever that is, you've got to multiply by four in order to figure out what this is. Now, I'll give you a hint. When you take this here, to find this number, obviously you're gonna undo it. So you're gonna divide 569 divided by five. You're gonna get your answer. You're gonna come up with, your answer is going to have a decimal. 
Because you're going to have to, you're going to have your answer, and then you're going to have to put a decimal, add a zero, bring it down, and anyway, you're going to have three digits, a, a decimal, and then one digit, okay? So that number that you get with that decimal is the number that you put here. And you're going to multiply both of these by that number. Because remember, whatever you do on the bottom, you got to do on the top. Okay? So that means in your answer here, you're going to have a decimal. But it, you need to round it to the nearest whole number. For instance, I'm just going to throw out a number. If you have, say, 45.3, okay? To round this to the nearest whole number means you take the decimal and you look at the first number in the whole number. Well, the three doesn't do anything for the five, so that actually just rounds to 45. So that's what I mean. So the answer you get here is gonna have a decimal. Just round it to the nearest whole number. I'm gonna give you one more hint, and this is a big fat hint. <laughs> it's the answer. You're actually going to end up with 455. This should be your final answer. Now I'm telling you that so that you can figure out, make sure that you do it right to get that. Okay? Now, if, if you're still unclear, let me know. I'll be happy to go over it again. I can explain it 400 different ways if I need to. So uh, anyway, just let me know. Otherwise, I guess that's it.